hi guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm doing video about my facial i want to tell you a little bit why i'm doing it because a lot of people tell me that i don't need it my skin looks fine why you keep doing your facials every other month so here's the thing <clears throat> this facial i call it like old school facial uh they steam you first for like 30 minutes it's a really long time and first i didn't like it but if you want to open your pores then you really have to spend good 20-30 minutes on steaming. After steaming, um, she put, um, lady who does my facial, she put little, how you call it, um, this plastic wrap on your face so your pores keep, uh, keep being open. And while she's doing it, she open one uh, part of your face and start cleaning your pores out. And it takes like with steaming and till she finish all face it's going to be like hour and a half probably then she and the end she put mask on so i was used to do facials all the time but facial to me it's not something pretty Where you go they put nice blanket on you and you just sit there pretty and you and when you leave office you look amazing no this is not the type of facials i like I like real facials where they clean every pore on your skin and when you go home you look a little bit red of course because they clean each pore can you imagine how your face is going to look after but in a couple of days like four or five days after your skin recovered maybe a week maximum your face looks amazing and you don't need to exfoliate it or do anything else your skin is smooth and clean so I love this facial and I will try to show you once I go inside my office I'll film something there and I'll tell you more about it I do facial once in two months sometimes um, like at summertime it's maybe every eight weeks at winter I can go two months no problem depend if you put sunscreen on your pores on your skin or something like that so now how can you pick a good place so it's thousands of facial places here but i'm driving actually very far for me it's far 40 minutes drive sometimes 30 because this is only place where they do actually great job i've been in other places where they steam your skin you know like for five minutes and clean a little bit on a forehead nose and right here and a little bit here that's it this facial is actually they put a little thing around your face to pull all your hair back and they clean everything like whole your whole face going to be clean so I need something real and this is why I picked place where they actually clean your face for one and a half hour and take their time don't rush don't just try to make money they actually clean your face so when you go and for your facials try different places and see which one you like the best and i still have wet hair because i just got out from shower but my appointment is in 40 minutes and i better go so it's okay i'll just gonna put in a bun and i wear very comfy clothes just a sweater sport bra and sweatpants just because there i'll be steaming for 30 minutes and i don't want to wear any nice clothes and for for the road i got a little piece of chocolate it's from Peru, it says 62%, so I'm thinking it's not as bad as regular milk chocolate. And I got um, I got black hot tea, just, you know, to make my ride more enjoyable. I just arrived to my facial place and they usually give you stuff to change. This um, fuzzy socks to keep you warm. And as you can see, it's all white and super clean. This is squeezy balls, we call it. If you, you know, afraid of pain, you can have them in your hands. And they always offer you water. And here I am steaming. My face right now is a little bit white because I have a uh, numbing cream on it. And this bucket with hot water have uh, herb flowers in it. And after facial, they always put healing mask on you. I got some facial products I needed. I got day cream and cleansing oil. 
I try to use only their products because they work great and my skin looks amazing after using this facial place products hi guys this is next morning after my facial just want to show you my face as you can see you don't have I don't have any redness or any spots what I have to cover with makeup I don't use I, I didn't use any powder any foundation this is no makeup and I'm really happy with my facial you can really tell I did facial yesterday it's my favorite part now I can have regular day do whatever I need to do and don't use a lot of makeup but in three four days my skin gonna slowly start to peel and it's gonna look a little bit dry is nothing you can do about it you just have to wait and then um, five six days your skin gonna look gorgeous again so you want to give yourself a week for recovery and then you'll be good to go so I'm all ready for the day I didn't use any makeup just SPF because after facial you can get pigmentation if you don't use SPF and I wear my basic t-shirt and my pants from Victoria's Secret that's all Okay guys, I'll see you later. I just had my eyebrow wax and it was so painful, but I have to do what I have to do. So now we're going to my last laser appointment. I'll show you machine and how it all works. I already make a video about laser hair remover and this is my last appointment. It's been two years. This giant machine on a ride, it's hair laser remover. That's what they're using and um, we got here comfortable chair with towels and anything you need just got all my stuff done i went to grocery store to regular so i bought a couple things i needed i'll show you at home i want to show you quick what i bought so um you know when you take a shower uh middle of your back never get washed well so i decided to got this uh, back scrubber because i work out a lot and I uh, always wear sport bras, so I really need this. And it's from Natural Material, so I'm excited to try it and see if my back will be doing better with this back scrubber. Also for my CrossFit, I got the sunblock. It's sport sunblock, so it's perfect when I run outside because I don't want to get any of pigmentation on my face. So this is very important. Or you can use it for bike ride or whatever you do outside. And la lately I was doing a lot of curls on my hair so I really need these clips just to clip my hair when I separate them when I went to facial I asked lady who does my facial because she looks amazing and uh, her skin look amazing and I asked how often she changed pillowcase and she said every three four days and I asked her what should I do and she said since I don't have any major problem on, with my face but I, I have a lot of blackheads so I'm going to change it once a week so maybe I'll do it like every five days. So I'm about to remove all pillowcases and wash them all and see if my um, skin have new results. I'll let you know. So if you want to start washing your pillows more often with me, go ahead and start it now because your face is going to be, uh, I think your face is going to be less dirty and it's going to be less blackheads too. So I'm about to do it right now. Just wanted to show you guys quick my makeup. Uh, I actually have a little bit of time to clean and organize my makeup. So I have this chlorine wipes and I'm going to all my drawers and wipe everything and organize. So here's how I did my makeup. It's for now. I'm planning to buy a different box for makeup. Here's my skincare. Anyway, here's uh, powders, highlighters, eyeshadows. Here's all my lipsticks. Um, I went yesterday to my facial and this um, I'm testing right now actually uh, this um, let's say homemade <laughs> foundation um, my specialist just gave it to me to try if I like it and then I'll buy full size so that's pretty cool to test makeup uh, to test foundation actually before you buy it they can make any formula for you a thicker thinner more natural look whatever you want so of course I have S. So this is all for my lips. This is highlighters, this eyebrow thing, and here's some other eyeshadows from Estee Lauder. Here's all my primers. This is for my brows, um, mascaras. Mostly of stuff I have from Benefit and Estee Lauder, but I also have other things too. And here's how I have my brushes. I just bought this cute cup and I wash brushes maybe like once a week 
So all of them for different reasons. If you do want me to make a um, more detailed video about my makeup, you can let me know. I would love to do this. But yeah, it's what I have for now. Okay, it's Friday and I'm here at my patio. I'm enjoying a cup of my coffee. So yummy. I add a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of almond milk. So it's Friday. I'm just chilling by the pool. The weather is super nice. Uh, I'm just gonna read some magazine, look at my phone for a little bit and just chill. Um, so it's almost weekend. We're just gonna go to market probably, get some fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, just relaxing, we can, you know, Okay guys, we just went to market and I want to show you what I bought. This is my bag from market. I usually use it all the time when I go to market. Okay, so we got some um, seasonings. You can do dip with it. You can marinate your chicken, steak. I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. So I got cheddar, uh, garlic and herbs. Here's another garlic. I never tried this one actually. I tried this one, Parmesan ranch. This is good. Okay, I got potatoes, pineapple. I hope this pineapple is sweet. Oh, gold extra sweet. Okay, should be sweet. I'm just gonna cut it right away, whole thing. And we're going to eat it in a couple days. I love oranges, especially if they're sweet. So this is the main guest today, it's mango. I love mango, especially when it's super sweet and soft. So how so how I find out is I just touch it and if it's soft enough, then I'm buying it because softer it is, sweeter it is, I believe. A couple apples, tomatoes, green bananas. I always try to get green bananas just because by the time I eat it, it will be perfect. I got some cherry tomatoes. I love cherry tomatoes for breakfast. I got some grapes. These grapes are without seed and they're sweet. And here we got broccoli. I'm gonna do a crack pot soon, so I need broccoli for that. So here's my vitamins for the weekend. Of course, not just for weekend, but that's all I got. Oh, and I got pickles. Let me show you pickles. Here's garlic pickles. My whole family love it because they're delicious. We got two. And here's how it's going to look on my island. I put bananas, oranges, and apples on this pretty thing and everything else tomatoes mangoes broccoli and grapes i'm going to put in the fridge except for potatoes another day another workout so today i'm doing upper body i just realized that i have a lot of bright workout clothes and they never match so i decided to get a couple basic uh, tin tops and they'll perfectly match with my bright leggings just look this is ridiculous like it's not much basic colors here. It's all pink, peach, blue. My shorts are a little bit better. I have some gray. I had to push myself to buy gray so so I can match it with um, my pink t-shirts because I don't want to look all pink. That's ridiculous. So as you can see, I have a lot of bright colors for my workout clothes. No more buying pink. So whatever I have pink, I put it on and a second piece will be black or gray. Guys, look at my new little tiny uh, gym bag. It's so tiny, I can't even explain you how tiny it is. Like, look at my hand. It's almost the size of my hand. That's so funny. So I just wanna show you what I usually have in my gym bag. I don't have much just because uh, my gym is only five minutes away and I go straight home usually after the gym. Sometimes I go somewhere else. Anyway, uh, I have towel, of course, in case I'm doing lunges. So I always like to have knee pads. This one are pretty thick so when my knee touch floor it doesn't hurt my knee people use it usually for just to support your knee I use it just so my knee not getting bruises after the touch floor so knee pads towel and I got gloves if I need it sometimes I use them mostly times I don't use gloves what else here I got 
I got spritzer for my face. Lady who does my cleaning, she told me always have extra spritzer in my bag. Uh, just uh, so I can use it after workout if I have to go somewhere. Uh, if I don't go straight to the shower after workout, I need to spray it on my face and cleanse your face a little bit. And I'm not gonna get extra blackheads on my face. And of course, in case I forgot, I have this hair tie. So that's it. And I'll put bottle of water in it. And that's it. And I'm almost ready to go. Here's my tiny, tiny bag. It actually looks big in a camera, but it is so tiny. You have no idea how tiny this bag is. So I'm just gonna eat some fruits. Uh, just a small breakfast today. I don't feel like eating a lot. Usually I do eat a lot in the morning, but not today. So I'll have some fruits uh, and I'll go to the gym. See you guys there. You can see that I'm wearing different clothes in this video because I combine two days of workout because when I film, I thought that it's not long enough. In the ACL, that's my homeboy. Watch your back if you're gonna walk alone, boy. Cause everybody in the home, boy, is trying to get rich. You could get hit even if you're known, boy. Uh, we the kings of the south. Hi, guys. I think this is my last day of vlog. And, and I just had a great workout. I will show you a little bit in a vlog. So I did a lot of legs. So my legs right now is just shaking. And now I'm going to my favorite French cafe. I'm going to have their salmon sandwich and uh, kiwi and strawberry hot tea. This is like my number one place to go to have lunch or uh, breakfast. So see how my hair have uh, soft waves. I do bun before I go work out and when I let it go, my hair just have nice waves. It's a little life hack for you guys. I will show you everything in a second. <laughs> to grocery store and I want to show you a couple things and ideas for uh, snacks if you work at office or put it in your car so I got this bag of stuff um, you shouldn't eat it at home when you need a snack but but this is perfect options to put it in your car or put it in your office drawer so we got here mixed fruit so how do I pick uh, healthy snacks I just I turn around all the, this thing all the time and start reading um, you know, I'm looking at sugar, calories, and if this snack have actual good things in it. So I got two. These dry fruits, they're not bad. You know, six grams of sugar. Um, got this energy mix. It's have all kind of stuff in it. It's just, you know, good to put in your car. And if you're hungry, that's better. This is a similar one. Now, you know, <laughs> I don't usually eat those, but you know, uh, completely cookie with 16 grams of protein. Again, if you're starving at work or you in a traffic and you need to eat something, this is a perfect idea. I've got two of those. Some bars. High in protein, low in sugar. I don't know if they. I really hope they're not as bad for you. So I got those, um, and you know, 100 calorie pack. Nuts are good. So what else I bought? So this I call emergency breakfast because when you don't have time to eat in the morning, um, here's 20 grams of protein. Again, I turn it around and read. Calorie-wise for breakfast, it's perfect. 20 grams of protein. Um, what about sugar? There's no sugar here. I mean, that's not bad at all. I've got two of these. I got sour cream so I want to try new breakfast ideas uh, to have a toast with with this cream cheese and cucumber on the top I think it will be really good Same thing we turn it around and read we got 45 calories 3 grams of protein only but 1 gram of sugar that's not bad it's it's, it's a good option from cream cheese I don't think cream cheese is healthy or you need to eat it but if you do this is a good idea Here's a cranberry juice, it says 100%. And grapefruit juice. Here's some oatmeal. I use regular oatmeal, but this package is about so we have it in the house for anybody. And these things, they just come out, I believe, a couple months ago. 
There's no bread here, just eggs and protein. So here's some healthy ideas for you guys. Let me know if you try something from that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. And in next couple videos, I'm gonna tell you more about myself. Uh, how did I move to America and why I'm doing YouTube. And please don't forget to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and to my Instagram. See you guys later.